Hello friends, today we are going to talk about 4-bit PCD adder. Here are some of the prerequisites. We will talk about each of them in brief. What is binary coded decimal? It is basically representation of a single digit, decimal digit into 4 binary bits. Now let's take an example. Suppose we have a digit as 1, then the binary representation of 1 with the help of 4 bits is 0, 0, 0, 0001. Same is the case with 2, it's 0, 0, 1, 0. Now if we take a number which consists of 2 digits, then the BCD value of 12 will be the combination of uh, BCD values of the corresponding digits. Here the BCD value of 12 will be 0, 0, 0, 1 the BCD value of 1 and BCD value of 2. Therefore, the BCD value of 12 is 00010010. The binary representation of 1010 up to 1111 are not used in BCD system. Therefore, they are meaningless in BCD system. Now, what does full adder means? Full adder basically performs the addition over 3 bits, 3 bits, binary bits and gives us some and carry, gives us some and carry. Now out of them one is the input carry, let's, say, let's suppose take this input carry as 0, A as 1, one of the input bits and another input bits as 0 and perform the addition, here we get sum as 1 and carry as 0. This is a sum, this is a carry. As you can see, this case is shown here. Sum as 1 and carry as 0. Now let's take an another example where we have carry as 1, a as 1 and b as 1. As we can see, here sum is 1 and carry is 1. This is the last case shown here. This is the circuit shown here of full adder. Previously we saw previously saw what does full adder means. It adds 3 bits and gives the output, gives the sum and carry. If we add here in binary system then we get 1011 in binary system which means 11 in decimal digits. This is the work of 4 bit binary adder. Now let's take another example. Taking the sum in the decimal system, we get here there is an overflow. This overflow is recorded, kept record in a out carry. Now here is the diagram of 4 bit adder circuit. It is basically it can be constructed using a full adder, four full adders. As you can see, A0, A1, A2, A3. These are the input bits of our first number A, B3, B2, B1, B0. These are the input bits of a second number B. And as you can see, this is our output. Your C4 is our output carry. What does PCD adder means? What is the meaning of adding two BCD numbers? It basically means adding two numbers in BCD system and getting an output which is also in BCD system. Let's take an example. It means 1 in decimal system. It means 5 in decimal system. The addition is 6 in decimal system. Now adding these two BCD values we get 0 1 1 0. Now 0 1 1 0 means 6 in decimal system. So as you can see uh, we can perform the addition operation with the help of 4 bit binary adder here we can take input carry as 0 if not uh, if we want we can take it 1 also now let's take an another example of 4 and 6 now here we perform addition in decimal system we get 10 performing addition in binary system we get 0 1 0 1 now this does not mean anything in basic system as we can see, this means 10 in binary system. So if we are able to convert this 10 
in binary to pcd 10 bcd 10 then we can uh, make use of our 4 bit binary adder with some modification or some transformation so how do we solve this problem now a 4 bit binary adder gives our output in binary system but we want our output in bcd system so we know that the range of binary system is 16 the range of bcd system is 10 the difference is 6 so there is a gap of 6 between both the system now taking the from the previous example 1010 10, which means 10 in decimal system adding 6 to it we get 10000 0, 0, 0, 0, which is 10 in pcd system pcd system hence by filling the gap with a increment of 6 in the binary system we can get their pcd values as we have seen for the values less than equal to 9 for values greater than 9 hence now we have we can construct the truth table with the help of these two conditions here binary sum means getting our output from 4 bit binary adder ic now this is in binary system we have to convert this into bcd system for making a bcd adder complete as we have seen earlier that for values less than 9 bcd values and binary values both are same but for values greater than 9 in decimal system we have to add 6 to a binary sum such that it converts into pcd value let z equal to 1 represents uh, the condition where we have to add 6 to our binary sum as we can see here we have to add 6 when the value of k is 1 therefore z can be written as k when z into z2 is 1 we have to add 6 to our binary sum therefore k or when z into z2 is 1 here when z into z4 is 1 we have, then also we have to add 6 to our binary sum therefore or z into z4 is 1 here is a circuit of a bcd adder this is a 4 bit binary adder here is our first input in bcd system second input in bcd system here we are getting an output in binary system but we want our output in bcd system therefore we are adding here 6 0 1 1 0 6 when z equal to 1 when z is 1 we are adding 0 1 1 0 to our binary value so that we can get pcd value now as you've seen earlier that z8 into z4 or z8 into z2 or k is 1 we have to give z equal to 1 and when the binary value is less than 9 it won't give z equal to 1 therefore we don't have to add 6 to it we will add 0 at that case hence we will get the corresponding VCD value in both the cases now we shall demonstrate this circuit in a lab for better clarity hello friends this is our circuit these are the two bcd adders this is the end gate this is the or gate these are our input wire this is the input a this is these are four wires of the input b these are the led and the resistances i have given six in a and four in b so the output is 10 as it should be and as the adder works perfectly hello friends now i am going to change the inputs so in a i am giving 7 that is 0 1 1 1 and in b i am going to give 5 that is 0 1 0 1 
so the output should be 12 that is 1 double 0 1 0 in bcd form in bcd form so the first and third light should glow port light should glow and they glow and so it works correctly